good morning everyone Rachel here just going to do a quick video on using your Tupperware can opener so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration this is mine it is about I reckon it's about five years old now it is the best can opener I've actually ever used I am a left-hander and I have found this to be the best can opener that suits me mine is green which is an old colour. If you go to the current catalogue, you will see that it is red. So have a look in your current catalogue. This is priced at $66 AU, Australian dollars. Um, it has been the best investment I've had in can openers. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I think is the best parts about Tupperware and why I use the Tupperware can opener. So over here in the back corner is my collection of horrible old can openers that I don't use. This is a, an Italian one which goes on the side of your tin. Now from memory I think it went like so. Which is not too bad, but I found as a left hand that it worked, but it was okay. Um, it even had some instructions in there, so it's probably my pick over those. But this is still, you know, this is still like God compared to that. So there's that one. It's only got one single cog and a point that goes in. So there's that one. Then we've got this one that everyone uses, every house has one. Now I actually do not like them. They are great for right handed, but for a lefty I find it awkward. I feel like I'm working back to front on them. Um, I also find the reason I really, really hate them though, is that they're dirty, like in here. Let's give you some focus so you can see that. Look at that, it's just gross. All these cogs in here build up so much dirt. You can just actually, God, I'm just trying to pick it off for you. Ugh. Yeah, it's just yuck. Yeah, you know, it just it just goes in your food when you put it on your tin. Let's get a bit more focus. It's quite focused. That actually goes in your tin. All that food, all that dirt goes in your tin. I mean, look at this one. This one's just gross. It's rusty. See if I can bring it up a bit more you can see how bad it is. Grab your own can opener and have a look and just see how much dirt actually builds up on those cogs. Sounds hitting it good there. You can just see it actually is really quite yucky. Now, what makes this yucky? Here's an empty can. This one was opened by Tupperware. What makes it yucky? And why I do not like them? This is the left handed or right handed person failing. Is that they go on you can like so. Let's have a look. See that? You see how that goes actually into your food. So when you're opening your tin, that's going all that dirt is even if you've cleaned it, you're still gonna contaminate your tin. Actually that's quite good because it's gone rusty. You can actually see how far in that has gone. See the rust mark that it's just left? That's how far that cog's gone into your food. So if you've got dirt into here, that's going in your food. You're contaminating your food with God knows what. I really, yeah, it just, yeah, I just don't want to think about the bugs that are in it. But with the Tupperware one, it's really good. You've got like a ball bearing here with a rubber grip. You've got a little cog here that cuts. So with Tupperware, 
it works flat. Now I'm left handed and it works great for left handed. So you pop it on your can on the top. Squeeze your handles together. Now I'm going to come in close. Can you see that? That does not go in your food. I can't sort of show you in there but it just sits on the outer edge of your tin. It does not, here we go, got the light through it. It does not go in your food. That top little cutter, cog on the inside, is just up on the inside lip in there. So as you can see, it does not go in your food. It goes on the top. It works on the top. And that is another fabulous feature of the Tupperware can opener. It is left or right handed. Great for us lefties. The other thing I really love about the Tupperware can openers is that they do not leave a sharp edge. This one, this tin was open with a, a Tupperware can opener. And as you can see, I'm running my hand around it. I have not cut myself. So, oh, nothing. Whereas with those hideous things, they leave a very sharp edge. So, these are the merits that I like about it. It's ergonomic to hold, efficient and flat. So, how about we actually use it? Here's our tin. Just make sure I get some good focus for you. Now, if you're new to it and you're not familiar with using them. So have a look, turn it upside down, open your handles. Open it up. Now what happens? Did you see that? Now watch these two cogs. Okay, so you open up your handle, the distance here on your two cogs. So you've got your, your wool bearing there and your cog there and look at the gap in here. Now you watch as I close the handles together. See how they squeeze together. And that is squeezing on your tin can lid. Okay, so I'll open it again. See that distance happening? See this? And of course, when you turn it, you're turning that cog. So, we'll do that again. So it's open. You've put it on your tin. Now you're going to close it and lock it onto your tin. So it's going to close like that. And the gap is going to close up. So you can see this gap has closed up. Okay. And this is where it's going to cut. So this cog is only just touching the top edge of your tin whereas that bottom one is in your food I think that top one's actually in your food that top one of these ugly old ass things in your food yeah we're going to demonstrate it so we're going to open it up we're going to flip it over so you've looked at it you've got yourself an idea of where it is and what's happening so you want to just place it on the top of the can like that so you'll feel it so it's to see see that that's what you've got to achieve so you just pop it on like that and, you know you can feel that's on i put my hand there i close it together squeeze it together it'll feel a little bit tight so it's definitely locked on you can see that picking it up it's locked on hand on the top and turn. It's open, it's just cutting through the dents. So even though this can is dented, it's still actually cut on it. We'll open it up. And the lid should just lift off by hand, like so. So, as you can see, the lid 
is off. It's not sharp. This is not sharp. I haven't cut myself anywhere. Got more baked beans on me than anything else. So it's not sharp. Really good. Now the other feature it has as you probably might have noticed, it's got this funny little fake things on my phone. It's got this little hook here. Can you see that? Two little middle bits. What you do is you open it up. You might be able to see them better now. You've got one there, one there. Can you see these two? Let me close it. Now this is it comes together. So I'll show you what this does. You open it up, you go like this, you put that, put me some focus on there, pull it together, and it will lift up. Just like that. And down. So this is a really good feature. Because you can put your lid back on your tin. We'll grab the salt tin and we'll do another open up. I use collect tins like this because even like you get small tomato tin paste cans and they make really good biscuit cutters. Um, also you can bake in them if they've got no plastic or anything in them. It's just pure metal so I don't keep any of the tins with plastic. The Wattie's Baked Beans tins do not have plastic. Okay, so we've got it open, put it on, make sure it feels right, that feels good. Alright, I've missed it again. Just close it, there we go. And even though I accidentally just entered it then, it still just cuts. You hear it crack. Just like that. So it's pretty good. It does not cut. And of course you can put your tin back into the into your fridge. And it gives a nice good seal. So we'll do that just one more time. Close it, put it on, turn. Now it's going to come and it's going to crack in a minute so just listen to this. It's like where I started from the moisture that's coming out. That one didn't pop quite like the baked beans did. Right, didn't get there. Okay, as you can see I stopped a bit earlier before it was done. So I'm just going to run my hand, run round again. Crack then. And there we go. Another nice non-sharp tin. This is a good tin too because it's got no plastic lining. So it's just a matter of settling into using it. Um, like I said, I'm a left-handed. It just it's just really good for my left hand, and my husband's right-handed, so of course it's perfect. As you can see, the wording's on there for a right-hander. But it fits beautiful, both hands. So the features are, it's ergonomic, it's left or right handed, it does not put goo into your food or contaminate your tins from in here. So I'll just run that way. Just pop that there. So it does not contaminate your food with those dirty cogs. You can see like that.
it opens up the tin and gives you a lid for your tin. It is not sharp. It is not sharp. It leaves a nice clean edge and it is not sharp. It will cut through dinted tins as well. You might have to just do it twice just to make sure you definitely got round. It lasts. It is easy to clean. As you can see, it's it's easy to clean. It's actually more stylish to look at, period, than bows. Just look. sorry. Just look at the styling. Just, yeah. So lots of merits to the Tupperware can opener and why I like the Tupperware can opener. So I hope you found this video informative. So don't forget to hit the subscribe, share, like button. And that's it for me today. Um, until the next gadget review, this is Rachel, over and out. Bye.